Hello everyone, Poot the Bard back, and we are playing The Room. Now, we got to the next stage of this box, and it gave me this red thing that has the keyhole that's not high enough. Hey, look at notes. I didn't even bother looking. Look, it's Aaron Sch Schl Schlitterbahn. May 8th. McAllister returns from the rub with rubbings from Egypt. The pattern continues. The Tibetans called the null element space. To the Hindus, it's the ether. The aether. The ether. And now to the Babylonians, it's simply up. The other direction. The realm of Ishtar. Of yet more significance is the recurring presence of the hexagonal glyph. That thing. Bet you it's a tesseract because they're very hip right now. The same symbol repeated in cultures separated by countless centuries and the span of the globe. Who will tell me now that this is idle superstition at work? When my hands hold the first distilled sample, they will recognize me then. Presently, the skeptics have one more in their number. McAllister has quit my service. So, well, McAllister, you see the proof. There's proof here. All right, let's, the Tibetans, null, okay, back. Cool. So, that's the thing. Um... So, where are we starting here? Can we use the eye? Ooh, what are you? Two with, with like, a glyph rune? That's a technical term. Ooh, can I, can I zoom in there? What, what are you? Can I, can I slide, slidey doodle those? No, yes, no. Not gonna let me do it, huh? Not one bit. It's a dial. Okay, two with a weird shovel broom. Are shovel brooms a thing? What is this? Ooh. Uh, can I has? Can I? Can I? Can I ha? Can I has? So, what about these beans? Oh, mysterious mysteries of mysterious things. I love this. So, it, already, I'm, I'm telling you guys, if you really enjoy puzzle games and you're enjoying this, stop pl watching me play this. And uh, if you're not playing Fallout 4, which you should be doing anyway, it's not tall enough. How, do, how can I expand that? Can I... Um, if, if you're really enjoying this, seriously, go pick this up. It was it was it was pretty cheap um, on Steam. It's a really cool game, and it looks really pretty. The atmosphere is super good. What are you? You're an eyeball. Plate with an eye. It doesn't seem to move. Well, I, anything can move if you try hard enough. There, Mitch. This is one of those get five. So two, five. What is this even a puzzle to? Yeah, there's five with a with a weird disheveled flag, two with the shovel broom. Okay, so five and two. But what 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 combinations? Oh, deductive reasoning and logic. I oh god, I'm at a loss. Damn game is stonewalling me. I E well, you're a thing. Hi there, what's going on? Oh yay! Alright. More enigmatic crazy puzzles. Oh, look at this. Can I Oh, is it depending on the angle I look at? Oh swifty. Oh okay. All right, let's get the blue one. There we go. Let's get the green one. There, oh, almost, almost. Get Swifty, got it. All right. Wow, this game. Oh, get Swifty. We got it? Whoa. Whoa. 
Can I? Okay, we gotta line this up. Oh, so cool! A keyhole. Yeah! Oh, sold! Oh. This is awesome! Oh, another key. I'll take that. Yoink. Small cabinet key. Let's take a look at it. Can we zoom in on it? No, it's just a small cabinet key. Sweet. Backing up. Where can this go? Where can this go? I know it goes in a thing. Probably here. That's an eyeball. That's not a keyhole. Maybe here? Oh. Zoom in. Woo. Boom. I said whoop boom. Oh, damn it. Where did I see a keyhole other than that one that was there? Ah, on the front of right in my face in my grill, my grill space. Sweet. And boop. Turn that key. Ah, oh, the star. Yes. I know this already, so I won't have to do a bunch of cutting. Yes, thank you. I know I got it. I know I'm good. Oh, you are much more complex and weird and strange. All right, where's that star indentation? There it is. Zoom in on that. Let's get this. Not you. There. All right. Oh! So nifty! Oh, get schwip. Oh, knights. We got some knights. What do we got here? Okay, a brass ring with markings around the edge. What else did we get? We got a little dial. We got a little knight guy. We got a little we got a little gold knight. With no sword. June twenty first. Take note of this date. It is the most significant in human history. I have done it! A human subject was required. The catalyst was my own being. Fatigued by my studies, I entered the chamber without disabling the mechanism. And when I regained consciousness, I had succeeded! The null element is beyond curious. Being neither quite energy nor matter. Being neither quite energy nor matter. I have already made great strides in its study, specifically in how it reflects the light. Tonight, I open the wine! You're my kind of guy. You're my kind of guy, Alan Swanson Swigglesworth. So I got a brass ring. And I'll bet you dollars to donuts it goes somewhere that makes sense. Right here. Ah, ah, ah. Goosh. I knew that was too easy. Well, it looks like a dial for like... <sighs> oh, good for me. Oh, the heartbeat is creepy and I don't like it. Uh, is this a thing that goes on here? New. Okay. What are these knights? I was you, you make like big huge strides all at once and then you just kind of nah. It looks like Dr. Seuss in his most drug-induced insanity decided to enjoy steampunk and vomit it all over the gaff. That's how this game looks, but in a good way. Is anyone else as befuddled as me, as flabbergasted as me, as boople snooted as me? Does it still have to do with this, maybe? Oh no, we're not getting swifty with that anymore. If you haven't watched Rick and Morty, go watch Rick and Morty, it's awesome. The end of my statement. Mysterious mysteries of mysterious mysteries. Uh, I'll figure it out. Anyone else remember that show, Figure It Out? On, uh, I think it was Nickelodeon? And it had, I think Summer Sanders was the host and she was really hot. Yeah, I remember that too. Oh, what am I missing? Tell me your secrets, Box. Creepy house noises. Spooky scary. Oh! I 
am dumb and stuff. Oh, God. Oh, oh, all right. Ah! All right. This is cool. This is an interesting combination. Like, so, oh, whoop. Okay, that one, that one, that one. Then that one. Then that one, that one. What'd we get? More combination locks. Go! Uh, the, the thing. Um, the, the numbers on the thing. This. Six, two. Okay. So, two, six. Oh, I got the really key, the, 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 the spook, the key. I got the, I got the Dr. Seuss key. And also there's another thing in there that I almost missed. Is there? No? Okay, I'm good. I got it. And I can rotate this thing so that it matches. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, let's take a look at this. So it's, it has to go short, long, uh, 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 okay, yeah. Those are all technical terms, folks. So, and there. That should work. Ah, no, it has to be the other way. It's got to be the other way. It's got to be the other way. Okay, so it's, that's got to be that way. And then that is that way. There we go, because we need to think backwards with the key. Okay. Did it! Oh! What is this now? Alright. Thank you, box! What is this thing? Okay, it's a, it's a dial. I know where this goes! Oh, I know where this goes! Oh, I've been trying! I've been trying! It goes in here! Little goop! Oh, it only took me an age and a half! But I unlocked it! Whew! One more seal to go, and we will make sure to do that next time on Poot the Bard Plays the Ooh. Good, a celestial clock. This is going to be nice and simple and easy, I swear to God. Until next time, this is Poot the Bard saying, remember, don't get any on you.